what is this, a winter mirage? Where am I? Are those palm trees? Nothing like moringa, turmeric tea. Dang. It's 30 degrees here, tropical Missouri. It's nice to see you. It's the next morning. I told you we'd be here. Let me uh, show you what happened last night. Aloha. Today I want to teach you the importance of protecting your palm tree. We got some canvas here, multicolored canvas. And loading. 40 yards, right? 40 yards. Is that it, right there? Okay. And then you got groceries in. Okay. This is. Alright. There's the canvas. And aloha, everybody. Aloha, aloha. From tropical Missouri. Experimentation. This is your friend here, Eric Plot from plotpalmtrees.com Tropical Missouri, Zone 6A. I, uh, this is December 20th, 2013. I just wanted to do an update. Of course, these fronds here, it's an experimentation here, are bent down from the snow and the wind. Uh, we will have to cut them off probably next season, uh, spring, March. And look at that. They're still green. Uh, if you look to the videos prior, you'll see November through December proof Three years of success at Tropical Missouri uh, video on this raw plot plum, palm tree channel. These are plot palm trees, Tricarpus fortunae. And um, look how they're still green. Okay? Now, we, like I said, we have to cut these off. What I plan on doing which right now is I'm going to bend these down since we're going to cut them anyway, maybe use them as their own protection. Uh, shield and then wrap it with canvas. So let's do that. Got this burlap type material here is really about two inches uh, long, and that's just to wrap it like a string uh, or a strap. I got two bundles of burlap there. Again, this is December 20th, so we're having kind of a mild Lanina winter. Here's this cactus that's kind of taking a beating. Uh, these are cold hardy nopel cactuses there. They'll live here. There's the needle palm protected. You'll notice if you watch the other video, people were giving me a hard time about how I didn't protect it, but now they see that I, I did. Uh, so they, we're, we're gonna take the, uh, start, start off with the one of them. Hey, do you got any scissors? I'm gonna have to find, you know, one the old school strands are thicker and way warmer than these smaller ones. Uh, but see if, like, for instance, these were wrapped, some of them were wrapped in November, this one. And uh, this guy over here was wrapped in November. Um, so, yeah. And now I'm going to just kind of do some multicolor canvas wrapping, and I'll be in the next video. Uh, and I'll probably connect all these videos together so you can see what I'm talking about on this and uh, because I, I, I stayed paid attention to some of the forums and they had mentioned that I didn't uh, wrap the trunk now I'm gonna go back to my original story some people didn't know uh, but I had my arm out of commission because I was wrapping these trees and I had a blood clot kind of thing on my lymph nodes right under my arm uh, pit and I had a huge bulge about an inch in diameter and about that much poking out um, so I couldn't move my arm at all and it really stunk because it was right around the time I'm just protecting all these trees so I only got half of them done but in the this is the north and that's the west uh, so the strongest winds are coming this direction so the microclimate in the front yard where I was just at uh, is really good so um, 
these these ones would be the ones that would be the most brutally attacked so I want to teach the importance of protecting your palm trees especially in the first three years of the establishment it's three to five years as I've been sticking with on my theory uh, three to five years for these roots to establish here in the Missouri weather uh, this tree I could not pull the fronds up it's so strong this is like uh, 18 foot overall height huge trunk about a foot in diameter um, and uh, so the fronds are still green as you can tell um, there in this mid-December 20th 2013 weather in tropical Missouri Columbia's tropical Missouri zone 6a and I'll have some more updates I'm going to canvas the trunks on these since the lights are out anyway and then maybe I'll put some lights over that who knows what uh, so, whoa, hole there. Okay, and I got some more burlap in that bucket over there, that wheelbarrow. And uh, so my battery's about to go out. And uh, so yes, like again, if you look up the uh, simple methods to the palm tree protection chaos or madness, you'll see a video I made showing you some minor protection. I, I want everybody to know that I'm for pro protection and that I believe it will enhance the likelihood of success fully overwintering these trees. In fact, I believe if I do these properly with microclimate and protection that I could have a 100% success rate on all 20 of these uh, palm trees. We got three needle palm, Raphaelophyllum hystrix, the Trichocarpus 429, 17 of them for variations of 8 to 10 to 12 to 16 foot uh, trees and I gotta cut that frond off uh, in the spring I will do an update of course I'm working on a movie called 20 palm trees in 24 hours uh, where I show you a video from the spring when we put all these in me and my dad in one day and under under one under 24 hours we put all these trees in with just an auger and uh, dug a hole with the auger, uh, you know, holes with all of them. And we kept the burlap wrapped around the root ball. So that's also added protection as the burlap will wither away with the moisture. Okay, so let me get set for the next segment. This blue canvas. This is the part two importance of protecting the palm tree so we'll try to start with that uh, of course as we go along we'll be trimming the palm fronds off just like that I actually like to I like to put the palm fronds I use back on the, the, the root end of it so it could give it more shelter on the roots there. That's just me personally. So we get a cut. Well, I think see here, this is the green canvas here. If we got some lights here that we're going to be covering up with the canvas, so maybe it will produce some. Uh, contain a little bit of heat but who knows and who knows how much the lights really are doing as far as heat goes I'm also working on a video segment called Palm Trees Grow Here, Myth Unveiled, something like that. And uh, it'll show you different people who are put growing palm trees in other areas. So I kind of want to find a locked spot there. And 
that getting wet. There we go. Since we can't use those lights. Let's see what this can do. left off on the bar lap. Just like so. Okay, just dress him. Dress him up. A little bit. Try to go down a little. Okay. See how we're doing here. I'll show you. Move up a little bit. Give you. A, so this would be the blue one, and I'll kind of skip. I want to make it kind of multicolored. So that means I will uh, probably skip about four ahead because we have four different colors, and then go back to blue. Kind of make like a rainbow. So they got a blue palm tree there. How about you? Blue palm tree. And uh, so you get the idea. And I'll show you a, a finished. Um, <clears throat> take that off. Uh, kind of looks like a candy cane if it were red and white if I looped it that way. But I didn't want to do that. Don't forget to check out the uh, video I just uploaded on the Tropical Channel 573, which is our research channel usually, which means we're researching any topics, anything. Okay, so pretty much you're gonna see multicolored things here, so get ready for that. I'll be in the next thing when I finish. I just kinda of wanna walk through and show you just the update from the few days. This one I have to cover, that's that's gonna be the next guy. Uh, up there, he kinda of got unveiled. Uh, there's some, there's a yucca restrata in there, which is our blue sapphire yucca, some cactus, some musa bazoo, which I have a video I'll probably upload, uh, on these, these are the plot protection grids for musa bazoos, uh, they're stuffed with protection, there's a nice, uh, cloth there, material, cactus down here, those are hardy cactus. Uh, bamboo. This bamboo looks like I have to cut it. It got a bad end of the deal. It got beat by, down by the snow. These pop back up. Uh, these are going through some harsh, some harsh times there. Natal palm hardly affected at all. The uh, American palm. They are 100% proof here, practically. Goji there, we kind of went through this in the last video segment. Just want to run through a little
quick update to see after the snow see how they were see how they uh, all got affected by just that and we're just still in the beginning I know of the winter these are still green okay so I have to come back through here and wrap all these guys got the moringa tree going protected out here in that little grid there got nanotech fa fabric to protect that got a Joshua yucca here protected yep uh, so here we are back at the start where I began and I'm gonna put fabric over that if we'll have enough fabric from here we got those two rolls of burlap left and all that so let me go protect these and I will give you an update probably come back out here tomorrow and give you an update uh, in the meantime I'll probably upload this these videos so thanks for watching thanks for your support you are tropical Missouri you make all this possible without you and your contributions and support uh, we couldn't do this uh, we start from the basement down in the basement level up uh, with seedlings and run third well March 28th 2014 will be the fourth year of success yeah I have uh, some palm trees from the first year there's one in the palpus here right there that was planted four years ago it's still alive from four years ago we got seedlings back there from the first year it's the palm trees from the first year so yep the righteous will flourish like the palm tree and grow like the cedar of Lebanon you know we love us love you at plotpalmtrees.com and you can't grow wrong at plotpalmtrees.com thank you I got tons of this, this uh, twine material that I can wrap that up in. Right there, so you can kind of see what's going on here. We got the blue, the green, tan, red, and blue again. And that's kind of the kind of sequence here going on. I figured out with the lights, I just got another extension cord left off where they, uh, they got cut off. See, I got the extension cord running to that one so we can uh, revive these lights here, make it really Christmas or you know, I guess a cheer, winter cheer. How about that? Uh, yeah, don't forget to watch my truth versus tradition video so you can see more of a biblical basis of what Christmas is about according to Babylonian times. and stuff like that well I almost got on um, the front row I'll see what that one looks like the lights may kind of seep through this looks like 
you can't see the lights anymore here, but I don't think it's the point really as much as the heat mechanism. So you can see I still got a pretty good decent amount of burlap left there. Uh, on this strand I have another roll over there. This one, red, the green, I'm all done with the blue. Okay, that was 40 yards of the canvas. Uh, over 200 yards, I believe, of burlap that's used this season here. And many, many hundreds of lights. I should probably get this one guy over here. It's getting pretty dark, so I'm going to just go and cover them. And I'll show you the results in the morning, how far I got. I'll probably be out here all night. This is uh, going to be probably the last of the good weather that we have left remaining so all right good night god bless shalom my brothers and sisters i love you peace out okay now we have a whoa about two almost two in the a.m on the I guess it's the 21st now, December, and uh, 2013. This is just the next part. As I told you, I was going to update you. And now, I've been through heck here. Um, clean the lens off. It's, it, it was freezing rain when I first got out here. And, uh, oh man, been through heck. Uh, mainly because the scaffold, which was right here, let's see, I got my iPhone light, which I don't know if it helps much, but uh, I moved it over here, and man, i tell you what, the, the top part, which is it's over here, fell on my back, and I was putting, moving it from here. And I got the light kind of, I fixed all the lights because I had an idea and just kind of uh, sidestepped one of the ones that had the bad fuse. So now we got all the lights back in commission here. Beautiful. I'm real happy about that. At least that's one good thing. So it started freezing rain when I got out here to do all this, to get these cut, you know, guys, I have it blue, red, tan, green, blue, red, tan, green, and that's kind of the sequence of the canvas and as you can see here I still have a lot of burlap and so it's our rain the freezing rain so I'm gonna tell you what nothing worse than cutting canvas uh, with these scissors and it's frozen freezing rain look see that that really kind of stunk I'm still doing it though staying persistent with it uh, so it actually all worked out. It's amazing how it all works out at the end because see the blue uh, Went over some of the lights and so some of it has the lights covered with the canvas Which I don't really know how much of the heat mechanism There will be because of that So okay, so we had freezing rain you know, my hands froze, literally. It was a pretty amazing feeling. It was completely numb. I could kind of feel my bones. <laughs> so I ran into the palpus and put my hands next to the heater. And then I ran into the problem. The lights were completely tangled. The new, the lights I got out of the bag were completely tangled out of this world. Had to take like 30 minutes to stop. There's some, some of my rope. I'm going to need that. And it's frozen, of course. Which I could probably put in the palpus warm up uh, so then then what oh yeah then, then I go over here to move that the scaffold falls on my back and uh, just one thing after another the freezing rain you know I'm all wet that's fine I'm not trying to complain here just kind of give me an update <laughs> of the mess I'm in so there's the, there's the top of the scaffold see it there so I'm going to have to lift that put that on top of there cover that tree uh, I want to finish that one over there with the green canvas for that guy. And it was just pretty cool. I uh, took the 
tarp, blue tarp, I don't know if you see it, yeah, there, and I put it over the, the needle palm, and we'll see how all this looks in the morning. Just thought I'd give an update of kind of what I've just been through in the past uh, maybe four hours. Uh, at least I got the front rows pretty well uh, covered here. Let me, uh, I don't know how cold it is right now. I can't even use my phone. Because, uh, um, oh man, I can't even type my stupid password in. <laughs> okay, there we go. Try to shut this light off. Okay. Oh, man. So I want to get my goal. Maybe I should stop because this camera is getting wet. It was cool to see the flag waving back and forth. It was a frozen flag. That's how wet it was. Uh, it's very interesting. How about you? What's going on here? I don't know what happened here. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder if someone comes by here, pulls my stuff off. Yeah, pray if the freezing rain stops so I can finish this. Hope I can find my gloves. Oh, see here? See there's some, some freezing rain. You can see the ice kind of, the little icicles. And I mean, it's not totally unbearable just yet. But that gives you an idea of the weather here. I'm almost, uh, man, it'll be a miracle. If I could just get right down in time, I'm gonna cover this guy's trunk. You probably can't see him. So, all right. Well, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. After I, uh, yeah, just everything's, everything's totally frozen. There's icicles even on the palm trees and everything. Uh, so we got the color coded, like I said, thing going, got the blue, red, tan, green. Yeah, I, I totally feel out of place. This is so wild. See palm trees here. It's, uh, it's unreal. Got that one over there, got the green. Okay, so let's take a little, little walk around. This is December 21st, 2013. Live here in Zone 6A. 
All right. See, I try to put the palm fronds down there so when the snow falls, it won't be touching any roots that may be out, which there shouldn't be any. Anyway, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's actually snow or ice that's falling off from those fronds. So it was raining ice. It was raining like ice. So when it got on my hand, my hand actually froze. I, and I was, I'm on all this really um, pump nutritional stuff like some of the stuff we sell, moringa, uh, maca, and, and just like cocoa, all organic, fresh AAA plus quality cut stuff. And so anyway, I felt like a titan, like a Mayan titan last night doing all this stuff. And um, I'm going to tell you what. My hand froze, and I didn't even, I couldn't feel it. I had, to, I ran into the pyramid greenhouse, because there's heaters in there. Just put my hand up to the, the heater, and I had to untangle some of these lights that weren't working. And, uh, man, I couldn't believe my hand was numb. I've never seen anything like it. And since, since uh, I think it actually, it made my hand stronger. It's kind of like healing, cold healing. Most people would be crying, which... I usually would have been crying even. So what do you think of that? Different, huh? I, I like the, it's, this is multicolored canvas. <laughs> okay, so like at night, this kind of looks like a tiger or a cheetah kind of look. And if you notice, look right here, there's frost, but not here. So the light actually does produce some heat, a little bit of heat. Very, very, very small amount. I like the net one there. That's really, I, I, I liked how they did that. The net lights, that's cool. This was kind of my own little design. It's got two layers of the canvas and burlap. So this guy is going to really, this is a double neck trunk. If you look back on the videos, you'll see. Still got that little banana plot. I call it plot uh, pure um, protection grid. And uh, last night got this guy done. And I'll go in the front yard. A little later and show you it. this is the American palm and just threw a tarp over it right now temporarily got the ladders there uh, just to have some weight to hold that thing down uh, when the snow comes I could pull it out that too or if I could find something else in the meantime uh, so yeah that's the little update there I got some pictures bamboos way down and uh, I just hope and pray that's all we can do right at this point that these uh, all will make it and uh, do well. So let's go to the front yard now. Whoo! I did it. Finally, I'm, I'm so exhausted right now. I, I got to admit, I'm not going to even play around. I had all that stuff I took, the makta, the moringa. Oh, man. That's the only tree I didn't, I, I didn't get the top. I ran out of burlap. That was 140 yards of burlap. I'm going to kind of just walk through. This one, I'm going to cover, because I, I, I know some of it's exposed. I'm gonna get a big blanket and put over it, like I, kind of like how I did this guy. See, at the end of that, I put a very nice wool, warm blanket there, and um, kind of just tied. I kind of threw a like a drape over it, and then tied them shut, and uh, probably end up getting more fabrics. Um, like I said, wool I think seems to be really nice. This one was a, the probably the toughest tree of all, of uh, all of them, and I still have to kind of get. I got some open spots. It was very difficult. Been up 24 hours now, full 24 hours officially right now. I am wedged. Uh, the only tree I did not protect is this American palm, which is still doing excellent. And of course, we already came from back there. And it's kind of a view. 
All right. I feel like it's I feel comp accomplishment right now. Accomplished something today. I am ready to hit the sack. I'm going to upload this video. I'm going to get it all kind of to have a recorded for our research experimentation here uh, so y'all know stay tuned we got a really cool protocol video um how i do the moringa pair uh moringa king moringa sop products protocol and um so that's a uh, joshua yucca that's doing real good it's pointing to the sky pointing to above and to the heavens above I really, I really hope and pray these all make it. Put a lot of work in putting them in. I have this uh, movie put together of putting them in, how they look during the summer, and then t up to this point, and then the unveiling. So it's quite a uh, transitional and versatile video. It's going to be a full-length movie type thing, and uh, I'm really going to put my best creative works um, together for that so I really hope you all enjoy it I really hope uh, you check it out to all the palm enthusiasts out there palm haters and lovers supporters encouragers um, just whoever you are family friends um, people who, who don't even know who I am what we're doing check us out check this out this is really really fun it's really exciting I know it's uh, your time but this is something new something different and uh, you know we're, we're gonna persistently not give up we're not uh, you know we've run into a lot of uh, downs but we've had so many ups uh, one thing I've learned out of all this this whole experience within the past 24 hours is um, I believe everything happens in due time and it's the perfect, perfectional time, as my words go. So, right now, this is the perfectional time to head on in.